Hello, this is Mark Sabatella from Outside Shore Music, home of Mastery MuseScore. In this week's tip, I want to show you a new feature in MuseScore Studio 4.4, and this has to do with establishing the range of your dynamics. And by range, I mean what voices and what staves does it apply to. So older versions of MuseScore had a couple controls for this, and then MuseScore 4, when it first came out, got rid of some of that. It is now added back and then some. So there's some new controls that never used to exist. So I've got a little passage here for piano that uses two voices in the upper staff, one in the bottom. Let me play it for you. Great, right? So we have this passage. Well, let's say that I want to uh, mark this thing a little quieter. So I'll come over to the dynamics palette and I'll mark it mezzo piano. The default dynamic is more or less mezzo forte. I wouldn't rely on that. I would always add a dynamic at the beginning if you want to be sure, because um, you never know if a future version of MuseScore might choose to play it differently or if a human player would choose to play it differently. But I am now explicitly marked, marking it mezzo piano. Well, what if I now decide, you know what? I actually want the melody to still be louder. I want the accompaniment to be quieter, but I want the melody to be louder. What I can do is take that mezzo piano and come over to the properties panel, and here you'll see it says voice assignment, and right now it's set to all. Uh, if I change that to just voice two, boom. And notice it has turned green, which is the color of voice two. Now that mezzo piano only applies to voice two. I should probably put a mezzo forte on voice one to be really explicit about it. So I'll come back to the palettes, mezzo forte, and I will say I want it to apply to voice one. Notice that right now it's kind of sitting right on top of the other dynamic. That doesn't look so good. But as soon as I say I want it to apply to voice one only, it now goes above the staff. Voice one dynamics go above, voice two go below. And also, I might want uh, the um, mezzo piano not to apply, I, I can choose whether I want it to be all voices on the instrument or on just this staff. So I can also control how it affects the bottom staff. But let, let's hear this. So now the melody is brought out more. If I decide, you know, that mezzo piano wasn't really enough, I can select it, come over to the palettes, and turn it down more. Turn it down to pianissimo. Now we'll hear. And you're barely hearing the inner voice, so maybe piano is better. So I can select my pianissimo and click the piano. And now it will probably be a little, a little more subtle, but, uh, but clear distinction. And then I can also um, attach, again, a dynamic to this. Maybe I want the left hand to be mezzo piano. So I'll set it to be mezzo piano and then come over to the properties panel and say where it says all. If I click here, I don't want it to be all voices on the instrument. I want it to be all voices on that staff only. The bottom staff only will be mezzo piano. So now I get three different dynamics at once. And, you know, other combinations are possible as well. So this is what you can now do with Dynamics by uh, using the controls in the Properties panel to control which voice or voices, which voice and which uh, staff you, or staves you want that dynamic to apply to. And that allows you to easily add different dynamics on different staves of the same instrument or different voices of the same staff.